uh, Mr Chair, and can I uh, start by thanking the Government of India for uh, the extremely efficient and generous arrangements made for our meeting today uh, and for the suite of officials, academics and business meetings earlier this week, as well as for the fantastic energy that you have provided to IRAC uh, as the Chair of IRAC. It is great to have a chance to visit Gagaon and see incredible India in motion. I would also like to congratulate our host and chair uh, for your promotion to the Foreign Ministry uh, of India uh, and I very much enjoyed our meeting uh, yesterday. Australia wants our discussions and our decisions at this meeting uh, to result in outcomes. We want outcomes which will make a practical difference to each of our member countries, ones which really add value for all of us. And Australia is ready to contribute to those outcomes. We are today proposing a package of new projects worth $1.3 million in addition to the measures that we announced uh, last year at the IRARC meeting. And these new measures will concentrate on new fields within the key priority areas of IRARC. We want to help find out how our oceans work and how best to make it work for us for, and for our collective benefit. We wish to organise a new workshop for experts from IRAC countries in ocean forecasting to meet and to build capacity to progress, validate and apply Indian Ocean forecasting systems. Addressing climate variability is also another important area to address in the Indian Ocean region. And we already have an initiative to help strengthen adaptation to climate variability, which will help to elevate the capacity among IRAC members to identify, develop and implement appropriate adaptations based on common understandings of the impacts of climate variability. It's also important to build uh, the capacity of members, officials in maritime security and safety. As such, we will host a course in maritime regulation and enforcement and maritime security for officials who are working in this area. In addition, Australia will also undertake an Indian Ocean Port State Control Capacity Development Program. This will improve the application of national port state control procedures in the Indian Ocean region and will, and will involve those members affiliated with the Indian Ocean Memorandum of Understanding on port state control. Furthermore, uh, we believe more can be done among members to reduce our risks to disasters. We wish to build closer cooperation in this important area and so would like to host or perhaps co-host a meeting for officials from IRAC National Disaster Management Officers. We hope that this will allow disaster management officials to work together to find new ways to cooperate in this really important field. While we do not want to overload our system uh, nor to overreach with our plans, we do want to keep building on the strong foundations of IRAC which have been set by India as chair. And to that end, we want the membership of IRAC to expand to cover more of the countries which call the Indian Ocean their home and we are really pleased to be seeing uh, the Comores become a member of IRAC at this meeting. Uh, we want our links with other regional bodies, the IOC, ASEAN and SADC especially, to be closer, more frequent and more comprehensive. And we want our list of effective practical projects to grow year by year. And we want our level of ambition to rise to match our growing sense of common purpose and common interests. Next year, when we meet again, Australia will have the honour of taking the chair of this group. And we've worked closely and collaboratively with India uh, at this council as at the last. Uh, and for the next two years, we will depend on the advice and the guidance of India and, of course, of Indonesia. Uh, all the membership, though, will need to work together, as we will today, to give ever more substance and momentum to our organisation and to our regional identity. Thank you.